Great to have you join us on the program. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Coming up today. Isha! We have another drama lined up for you this week, but this one is a comedy in the nation's capital. In another part of Abuja, Art Voice Power is an exhibition taking place in different parts of the world, but we captured that one in Abuja as well as the coal city Enugu. We'll be bringing you this and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Wordsmith by Kessa Babatunde, who also created the image. It's titled Intercessor. To all the strong parents whose secret weapons are stronger than the physical weapons of this world, who bear the load of their children on their shoulders, whom the success of their wards are their first priority in life. One's parents are not the only intercessors in life, but the amount of time spent interceding for others speaks to the love we have for them. Intercession is the highest expression of the love we show to others. We begin with this rib-cracking experience coming from the nation's capital, from the stable of Olaro Timi's Pigeon English comedy. Hey, how are you? This farm works at the purpose of Akobia. Man work to the cutlass bed, that's all. When you get up late, how many is up at the top? When you find, now you see bed book, now you don't see where one to use to get your man. But, 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 that's what, that's what I said, I said. And what is this for how to play? Man, the fit people. The audience is sure to have a good laugh anytime Gripam a comedy done entirely in Pigeon English and written many years ago by veteran author Olaru Timi is played, no matter the stage, but beneath all the humor lies a serious message. I don't say anything for inside this orange tree. It shall leave me. So the wood can jump with the whip of fire, walk on my back, and then there's a blah blah. Okay. Upon all the hell of water, the hell of water, this is my orange tree. This is my orange tree. They know why you have water. Make them come again. I said, make them come again. Foul. 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 In the storyline, a poor farmer has a barrage of problems. Top on the list, a nagging wife. He's trying to get what he can walk for poor man. And so, so, so far, so far, you don't let them take care of the trouble. Get them, man. Only food to die to that. Only food. Anyway, you don't, you don't tell me I don't say your head, you can make it come. But when I tell you, I can give you a minute. Eh? If you know what they can pass, then you don't know, cook much for so my matter again. And so, there you are, let me set them my own. Fed up with seeing the constant marital squabbles, an angel is sent with a message. One wish each that will perhaps calm frayed nerves. When I only want to, you go not say you want to. Okay. You go talk your own. Uh -huh. And you say go talk your own. Just only one, two, I want for this one. Talk out. Think out well, well, before you open your mouth. No, I don't think I'll finish before you go. I don't think I'll finish. Talk out. Good. But I don't Oh, Auntie Angel, tell God, say, eh? Oh, you see this power of tree? You see this power of tree? I that this is a young power of tree. Ah, yes. so! You said to do. Uh-uh. Share. Eh? I've been waiting to do power of tree. You see this power of tree? Tell God, say, eh? Why they give me power? Why they say, eh? Anybody wants you on top of this power of tree. When I take first, say, keep up, that's all. Make it and that get cold. Like stop for the knock for every little they go to Rumpa of Canada. You see what I want? They don't have to. Yeah. Now one thing has to go from men I want. You see that here, man? He has to. Did he hear my way for yes? Kill him. Hey! 
this is the second time we're having this performance. First time it was about a week. Uh, thankfully, we had uh, all professionals on board. So you know what it's like getting your lines and all that. But because everybody were called professionals, it wasn't much of a challenge. So roughly a week to 10 days, we were good. All the things there, when would I call someone one for this one? as the landlord in this very funny play. Yes, yeah, so um, he's somebody who is very funny, who is very corny also, but, um, you know, tries to display what we regularly see from a landlord who is also a politician who is trying to be greedy, but Nemesis catches up with him, so it's a very interesting role. But a vengeful farmer throws caution to the wind. Now you know get palava. Now you know get palava. If now you don't get palaver, why are you going to take my papa? Go to take my nephew. They're going to teach my papa. Now you don't get palaver. Eh? Oga landlord, you give me rest. You give me drink water every day. Landlord, pay rent. Landlord, pay water bill. Landlord, water and no see, light and no see. He remains next to tell the man that he pay for the air while they breathe. Ah, hey. Uh, 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 na, 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 God don't count. You never say anything, my friend. This is part one of Lord who are bloody food. Now so you be eh? Grip up! Now I'm not going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on like I said. Now I'm going to put my pocket on makes a satire at the social vices in the in our society in a very comic way so people come and laugh at our at our foolishness you know with the purpose of correcting these follies the essence of stage in this play is for the audience to have a good laugh but most importantly remember that with great power comes great responsibility
I can never understand how a man can wish for something so mundane like the character in that play. But you know what they say, laughter is food for the soul. And Gripham comes to the rescue any day, any time. Now let's take a look at the works of art you sent in, then return to Abuja for another show. This time around is an exhibition, so you won't want to miss that in a moment. Stay with us. Most of the works of art sent in this week celebrate women and girls in all their glory. Let's begin with this one called Our Pride. It's a digital painting by Adetoru de Bas. Then Joyful Joy is Adeni Jacobs' watercolor on paper painting. The reflection is a charcoal on paperwork done by Akitola Akinola. Then Things Will Fall in Place Too is an acrylic on newsprint on canvas work done by Zubar Ismail. Hunt is an acrylic on canvas work as well, done by Mayowa Adekunle. Then on Easy Lies the Head is a work done by Blazer Freak, also with acrylic on canvas. Then artists explore other things like this educational mortality work done with oil on canvas. Akonde Biodun has this oil on canvas work as well called The Market. Musa Gadzama has a love of journeying. It's a graphic work. Then this sculptural piece done with glass fiber is by Donald April. It's called Me and My Shadow. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We encourage you to keep them coming. Writers simply have to write and not worry so much about what people think because public opinion is such a difficult horse to ride. This is a collaboration across borders and the essence of this show is to discuss and gather more support for the elimination of violence against women and girls. It's taking place in several cities in Nigeria as well as globally. But let's show you the Abuja edition of Art, Voice and Power. Art is given victims of gender-based violence a voice and the power to speak out against their aggressors, especially with the activism campaign against gender-based violence that challenges the ills mitted on women and girls. 
So this exhibition, alongside four other venues in the nation's capital, seeks to address this issue. The exhibition is about um, elimination of violence against women. So we felt like the female artists who are like, you know, the representatives of victims of gender-based abuse, it's better like we would say to hear it from the horse's mouth. So that's why we are having all these artworks created by female artists. A synergy among several organizations and a link to top Nigerian female artists is helping to drive this conversation with works of art that do justice to the theme of eliminating gender-based violence. I think the most important thing is that something has been done, you know, because gender-based violence is a huge, it's, it's a pandemic, you know, so every effort that has been made to contribute to eliminating this pandemic and strengthening the environment that will um, eliminate this um, pandemic is necessary. So for me, this exhibition is contributing to the efforts everybody's making to stop gender-based violence. Through the works here, so many artists have, have expressed women's pain, those who have been violated or who have witnessed violence or who have read about it. They've, expre they've expressed different people's pain and anguish through their artworks. And some people also described how these problems can be solved, how the society can actually make a move towards ending or at least reducing violence against women and children in our society. The over 40 female artists who participate in this exhibition tagged Art, Voice, Power spotlight deep-rooted issues such as rape, domestic violence, forced financial dependence and other harmful widowhood practices passed from one generation to the next in the name of tradition. For us, this art exhibition really is uh, to launch 16 days of activism. So as you know, 16 days of activism is really focusing on how we can eliminate all forms of violence against women and girls across the world, but also in Nigeria, because we know we have a serious issue of violence against women and girls in Nigeria. And so this art exhibition is just to raise awareness so that people know what is going on in the country, but doing it through arts doing it through storytelling so that when people see this art they can be able to understand what is going on in the country and be part of this struggle to eliminate all forms of violence against women and girls. The paintings also speak to these issues from the titles to the explanation, which the female artists hope will connect to the audience. It's an eye-opener for us to keep, to continue exposing such evils that is happening, um, you know, amongst uh, the female folk and also encourage those who have been victims of domestic violence to speak up, you know, and also to lend help to whoever we can, uh, however we can, you know, with any means of support and also to keep, to continue um, opening the eyes of Nigerians to the evils of um, domestic violence. I think this will create a huge impact to the society to show people that um, the effect, negative effect of gender violence on women yeah, this, this is a huge package of awareness to the people, to the society. The International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women campaign may be pegged at November the 25th, but the conversation is an ongoing one that needs action. And art is one way to voice out these ills to shape a better society. A lot of things have happened this year that will make people appreciate each day and count their blessings when it comes to an end. But despite the odds, creatives tell us what has kept them going.
Abayomi Ohaji says, I have been motivated by my muse and everyone who looks up to me. I have to keep practicing and producing amazing works so I don't get discouraged and in the end, we all get motivated. And here's one from Olainka Ogumbona. Odds. O. Opportunity to resolve. D. Dominating attitude should proceed whenever you see an odd challenge. D. Discover the treasure behind the hard time. S. Strength to be creative increases as you face odd ideas. I believe an artist always flows with instinctive creativity to express valuable ideas out of oddness. Despite the odds, what has kept me motivated is this and other social media art updates. Even when I experience creative block, I go to various online platforms, visit my mentor's timeline and tags by browsing through different pages. This has really kept me motivated to do more. Adebayo Adetoru. For Elizabeth Oluwatui, Life itself is a motivation filled with ups and downs, but my inspiration comes from God because He alone can give an artist a message for a nation. Life broke me, right and built me. My experience of life, allowed by the Almighty Muse, brought out the lines of my poetry. Chichi Alinta. My vision is where I want to get to as an artist. It taps me on the shoulder when I want to slumber and says to me, Hey, get to work, boy. That has been my push. Frank and Wacha. Next week on Art House. We show you the works of art that featured in other exhibition spaces still talking about violence against women and girls. This is my artwork for the exhibition. The exhibition is um, to talk about elimination of violence against women and girls. We'll see that and more on the next episode of Art House. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House this week. I appreciate you for being a huge part of it and engaging me online as well via our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami and I'm encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.